Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Basic UI Stepping into the World of User Interfaces, brought to you by Stempathize. So Stempathize is a group of high school volunteers that hosts hands-on workshops for students like yourself to be interested in STEM, like the workshop I'm going to be going over today. We also have a website and Instagram and YouTube, which you can check out. But just to go more in depth, um, in our Instagram, you can find some fun, like inspirational or like informational posts about STEM, fun, like stuff like fun facts. Um, and also you can see if we have like any events, any competitions and just like um, general happenings of STEM events. We also have a YouTube where we have funly fun monthly at-home activities that you can participate at with. And we also like to post workshops if you ever miss them, like the workshop I'm going to go over with you today. And we also like any just fun activities and also some informational videos. So I'll definitely check it out. Okay, right. to go into the actual content, um, a graphical interface, user interface, a G or like a GUI or some call it a GUI, is a type of user interface that allows users to interact with devices through graphical components, like clicking on icons, using menus, and pressing buttons to tell the computer what to do. It's just basically a way to make everything look pretty and easy for a user to like identify. And I like to think of it as the front end. It's just what we see. And so when we click on a button that says start, we know exactly what we're telling the computer to do. In like the computer's mind though, there's like a whole other like process going on. But for us, it's really easy to tell the computer what to do rather than like telling it in its own language in zeros and ones or like with using code. So some examples of GUIs are an operating system, just like your smartphones, um, web browsers, social media apps, and video games. Almost anything you interact with on the internet or like on a computer is a graphical user interface. Um, think of YouTube. Basically, a graphical user interface makes it much more easier for you to like identify what you're telling the computer to do. For example, on YouTube, you would like, you can see the name of the video, you can see a little bit of the description, you can see the timing, sometimes you can see the view, and you can see all of these things in like your little like home screen. So like when you're clicking on the video, like you know, like that's a good video, that it's, that's the video you want to click on, you know, like it's the correct timing, it's the correct content. But like now imagine if they are like all the same buttons we wouldn't know which video is what, but a video could still be associated with those like buttons. The graphical user interface is just for us users to know what we're clicking and know what we're telling the computer to do. So GUIs are used everywhere and they're very important to the interactions between users and technology. They can basically simplify complex functions and just make them much more user-friendly. Think of those like, uh, think of a Windows computer or like a difficult interface to work with compared to like a much more simple user interface. Like I know we've all like gone down like the rabbit holes of like when we're searching a math answer, then we go into those old math websites that just aren't appeasing to look at. And then we have like our fun websites where it's like nice colors and it's like, it's very easy to know where you're going to go. And just these graphical user interfaces can definitely like change your whole experience on like a platform on the internet. So a very important concept in a GUI is something called event handling. And this is basically when users interact with the interface generating specific events. Um, I like to think of it as when someone would call your name, you aren't like, you're like, you're essentially kind of like listening for your name. So the computer is kind of listening for what like you're doing. So like if you were just like doing your work and someone would call your name, you would like automatically like turn your head around and be like, oh, hey, what? That's what the computer is doing. It's like listening for like you to call its name, like the space key is listening for you to call its name. And the second you press it, that's like you calling its name. It's like, oh, hey, and it's just a little space. Okay. 
So just examples of event handling, clicking, moving the mouse, clicking a button, typing in a text field, selecting an item for a menu, closing a window. It's just you telling the computer what to do and the computer is listening and it reacts immediately. Okay, so now time to get into the fun activity. So today's activity, we're gonna design our own app interface, okay? So first, let's um, gather some craft materials. I just have my iPad, um, but you can use whatever you want. You can use pen, paper, a popsicle, post-it notes, whatever you want to make your interface um, appealing to you. So, but we do wanna like note that we want the user interface to be easy to work with. For example, you for if you wanna control volume, you wouldn't want to use like just a singular button because that would be kind of difficult to control the volume with. You would like rather use like a slider or like maybe like even two buttons, one for like plus, one for minus. Um, and so different uh, user interface components can like correspond with different um, events. So just keep that in mind when making your um, user interface. So again, just uh, gather all your tools. You can pause right here, um, but we're just going to continue on. So, like I said before, there are many like basic elements of G of a GUI that you can use. Um, we have buttons, menus, icons, tabs, sliders, text fields. Like you can anything that you've seen on your computer, on your phone. It's it's a graphical user interface. You can use whatever those are. Okay, so. Um, let's start designing and we'll meet back in five minutes. Okay. Okay, so here is my user interface. I chose to create a basketball game app. It's just, I think it's a fun game, especially on Game Pigeon. I love playing that game. Um, but... I basically made a bunch of buttons for like your modes and everything. Um, I made buttons to move the basketball around and I made a little slider bar for how much energy you wanna put into the basketball and you can change your mode, you can use your high scores and everything like that. Um, so yeah. So now let's discuss, how do you think your GUIs are used in apps and why are they important? So think about the reasons that you use the elements that you did. Think of, instead of in my basketball game, think of instead of um, buttons for like changing your modes, I had like a, let's say a slider bar it would be kind of more difficult to pick the game because it would be more difficult to kind of like exactly like make the slider bar go exactly where you want it to go. Whereas like in your buttons with like you have a bunch of levels and everything, it's much more easier to see. It's much more easier to specify. Okay, our final discussion question, what is event ha handling and why is it important in GUIs? So, if you just have a button on your screen, like the photo that I showed you of my basketball game, those like, they look like buttons, right? But the computer isn't like associating the buttons that I drew with anything. They like, nothing's gonna happen if you hover over my basketball or like my arrows or like click them. So that's basically what would happen if we didn't have event handling the computer would do nothing because it doesn't know what to expect. It doesn't know where you wanna go. It doesn't know um, when to do what action or like when you're gonna click that button. So that's what event handling is important for because you wanna be like ready. The computer needs to be ready to react the second you press the button, the second you interact with the user interface anyway. Hi, thank you for coming. We hope you had fun learning about um, GUI. We hope to see you next time and 
here is just our website, Instagram, and YouTube again, just in case you want to check it out and stay updated. Thank you.